enough, one of the impetuses for women to be more in public life and more in the affairs of their country has been war. The image that you see in right now is from the Second World War, and we have a woman doing a job as a welder. The reason that women did jobs like this was military necessity. At least it was thought that men had to do the fighting. And so many men left jobs and went off to war. That happened in the First World War. It happened in the Second World War. But it was much more important for the workforce in the Second World War. It was a much longer war and a much larger percentage of the workforce went into it, the males went into the army. And so women of necessity had to do what you might think of as men's jobs, like welding. Here we have a, what you just saw a woman doing excellent welding during World War II. This didn't start in World War II, however. Here we have Harriet Tubman a hero to many of us, who actually in Hampton during the Civil War was a nurse for the escaped slave, which we call contraband, and other ill African American people who lived here. Harriet Tubman came here as a nurse, essentially. This is the conductor on the uh, Underground Railroad, which was how many black people escaped slavery going to the north, and we have a little map of them here. Tubman, really important as a public figure, black public figure, that most everybody knew at the time of and after the Civil War. Tubman had escaped slavery herself and courageously made like 15 trips back into slave territory, risking her life and her freedom every time to bring out her relatives, their friends, and others. A conductor on the uh, railroad. Here we have uh, a Confederate helper, a Nanny Semple, who from Hampton uh, worked in the Confederate Treasury Department in Richmond signing the Confederate bills, a job which women could do but again, wartime is moving women into more public jobs, into actual work outside the home. That was unusual for women to be outside the home, even into the middle of the 20th century. It was somewhat unusual. People like Nanny Semple and Harriet Tubman were public figures who were outside the home and who made a real importance. Here we have a first World War poster, w uh, women were not allowed to fight then. In fact, it's not until 2013, believe it or not, docents, that women are allowed full equality as combat soldiers in the great United States Army. But here we have a woman who was helping to fight in the First World War by being in communications, a telephone operator. And in fact, over here, we have exactly that uniform that dress on loan from the Virginia War Museum. In uh, World War II, and we have several posters, the home front was very important and women manned the home front, to use a pun. Women were the people who carried the war on here. Here are women shopping and it says, trucks and tires must last till victory. I remember rationing in World War II, and that's what's being talked about here. The sacrifice in terms of home life that had to be made by women as well as men and children to carry on the war effort.